hello guys so welcome back today we will see how to create dynamic pin constraint in Houdini using vellum solver as you can see on my screen i have created this effect using vellum uh, this is really cool uh, you can make any kind of cool abstract using this method so let's, let's dive into Houdini On my one, I have used my logo, but here I will use the helix, helix node to stitch the point. First, let's take a grid node and remesh it into a really high mesh. So, take a remesh node here and set the target size to around 0.05 we need to take the pattern which we want to stitch like i have used my logo but here i will use helix so no, not helix i will use spiral yeah, I will use spiral. Uh, let's scale it around like this. And you can see it is a polygon. So we can use carve node to animate this line. So to do that, uh, we can take a carve node. Carve. And we can animate this like we will use the, the second view and we will take around we will keyframe the first we will give the first keyframe on 40 and on 72 we will bring it to 1 let's change the timeline to 100 so it will look something like this now what we can do is we can take a poly wire node and we can increase the division so it will be a, a round kind of shape now what we can do we can take a group node first we need to pin the edges of the uh, geometry so first group we will use pin pin pts here we will choose point and instead of base group we will choose include by edges and we will turn on unshared edges so it will now it will choose all the edges of the grid now take another group node here we will connect the second input to our poly wire now uh, in the group type select points and turn off base group turn on keep in bounding region and we need to choose bounding object so now it will be something like this so the problem is if we will animate the group here then the solver will not detect it we need to add a time shift here and we will freeze it to end frame so our group will be constant and we can change this group name to like pin here we have keep pin pts for the edges and this one will be our pin group now what we can do is we can take our attribute our angle and we will use this group to create one attribute like to do that we can use if 
cut in group pin is equal to 1 then i at the rate not i pin con is equal to 1 so uh, what it will do if the pin group is 1 then it will um, set one attribute called pin constraint now if i click on this you can see our pin constraint attribute look like this now we can take attribute blur node and we can blur that pin cons attribute you can see here so let's keep the iteration to 3 and step size we will reduce it around 0.2 to 2 cool now uh, we have to set the cloth properties i will currently i will keep the cloth properties default only i will not play with properties that much you can always choose your type of cloth so here in the density we will reduce the density of the cloth and this size is also too much we can reduce it a little bit around point zero point one here in the pin points we need to um, set this edge pin groups so in the vellum cloth go in pin points select pin pts and rest we can keep it um, default also uh, here we need to turn off compression stiffness and we need to increase the rest length scale i will tell you why uh, let's keep it default for now and here in the stiffness let's make it to extremely lowest value now uh, we need to take another vellum constraint node here instead of distance along edges we will use pin to target here in the group we will choose pin points and instead of permanent we will use soft soft pin soft pin and then we will create a group from it and the group name will be pin pin stretch so here uh, you can keep all the parameters default you don't need to change anything now we will take vellum solver node and let's play it you can see it will look something like this so what we need to do is first we will decrease the gravity on to so it will fall something like this also we can add some force built built-in force like on the upward direction point to uh, we can increase it so now you can see our cloth is not mm, getting fluffy to do that we need to increase this rest length scale we can keep around point zero one point one five now if you see we, we will get something like this cool cloth and you can see our movement is not too much we can increase the noise like built-in wind speed we can set this to three there is some movement but it is, it is very slow so let's keep it to one also uh, this features come in 20 so if you are using the older version then you can play with the wind pop wind down node or else you can dive inside and you can play with 
this settings so now uh, i want to add some wind movement so i will take a pop wind node and increase the amplitude to 2 now you can see it will be something like this let's animate the offset now we will have some movement like this but it is very strange you can see so let's reduce the swirl size to 0.2 okay. yeah think point uh, swirl size 3 looks better now what we need to do is first we need to release all these pin groups and after few uh, frames like um, when this animation start also uh, one thing i forgot we need to connect this wrangle on group node not uh, after the time shift so now our pin group this attribute will be animated now uh, you can add a null node here and type out and copy this dive inside the solver go inside the forces node and take a vellum constraint node here here in no not constraint node we need to vellum const take vellum constraint properties node and here in the input go in input 3 and select soft and paste the node there here uh, you can you know we have already set one group called pin stretch so here also we have to choose group is equal to pin str and stretch now we need to turn on this stiffness and vex expression and we have to write this simple expression i will explain you what this expression will do first uh, type this init point is equal to print points zero comma at print num so what this will do uh, this line will retrieve the current primitive on the first input of the geometry so our first input is zero only which will be our this our grid and it will store the prim points prim number after that we can we need to call out our attribute from the third input so our attribute name is prim pin cons so you can type here float cons is equal to point since our attribute is on point level so this will be our first second and third input so auxiliary 0 1 and 2 so we will write 2 here comma and then our constraint uh, attribute name is pin cons and then we already calculated the uh, point number from the pt so we will write pt here now uh, we need to animate this 
so you can see here this value this parameter value is stiffness so we can write stiffness is equal to fit and we can write our we have to we need to fit this attribute cons and then we will keep 0 comma 1 comma 0 comma 2 so what this will do uh, if the pin cons have the value of 1 then it will make the cloth stiffer by 2% and if the value is 0 then it will be the pin will be not attached it will be free to move anywhere on the 3d space now you can see our cloth is moving freely when the animation start and then it will get stitch like this so like let's increase this to so first it will move freely anywhere in the 3d space and then it will start getting stitch so this is a procedural way you can animate anything with this so thank you guys for watching if you like this tutorial make so to hit the like and subscribe button also you can support me on patreon